Welcome to video 20 in a series of introductory videos for SOLIDCAM. This video's topic is the cutoff operation. So the cutoff operation, or sometimes called the part-off operation, is really just when you take the grooving tool and you remove this side of the material from the bar stock that is still being held in the jaws. So it's a very simple operation. So how do we do that? Go to uh, turning operation cutoff. As always, the operation manager is the same for all our toolpaths. So we're going to start with the geometry. The geometry for a part off operation or cutoff operation is similar to a facing operation. We're just going to choose a vertical line so we tell SolidCam where in Z we want this tool to go down radially. So click the green check mark to accept the geometry. And then we can go to modify. I've got it set to auto extend to the start of the stock. So I've already turned to that point. So that's a good place to go to. But you can see that my drill went this far, but my internal turning just stopped right there. I actually want to part off a little further than that. So in the end extension, I'll just extend it by 200 thou. That way I can make sure I have that entire face clean when I do the part off. For the tool, we choose the same thing as we did for grooving, because it is really just a type of grooving. It just goes all the way down to the center. So in this case, there's a grooving operation, grooving tool. I'll make sure it's mounted correctly. Levels, again, is just the safety distance away from the updated stock. Under technology, we see the main parameters for the cutoff operation. In this case, we can either do it as an OD or an ID cutoff. Tool side is from which side of the geometry we want to do the cut. So in this view here, this would be left side, this would be right side. So right now we have it to left side. I want the full width of the tool to be on the left side of that chain. But of course, again, you have left side, right side, and middle if you want to use it. The step down, it is a grooving tool. So we can either do it as a continuous cut or we can do constant and give it a step down. In this case, I'll use single. Offset in Z. So if I want to leave some of the material behind, I'll put some material there. That is in the case that maybe when this parts off, I'm going to flip it around and turn the backside so that it's actually dimensionally accurate. Uh, or if it's grabbed by the subspindle and moved to the home position, I want to face it some more. This is basically uh, to cover the fact that the tool might wander a little bit because you are grooving it down uh, and you're going to separate it from the material. So you might want to just do some finishing on the backside. And then in terms of corner, Instead of just doing a part off and having a sharp edge right there, we can actually add a chamfer or a fillet on that corner there. And you have the option of where you want to add that fillet. So either on the left side, meaning the material that's still held in the jaws, on the right side, so the, the part that's about to be part off, it's going to be, uh, that's going to be separated, or you can do both. In this case, I'm going to do both. And then once you choose one of these two options, either chamfer or fillet, you have control over the actual parameters of that. So let's say we put in a hundred thou chamfer there, just something we're going to see very easily in the simulation. And of course, in the link section, just approach and retract. So I'll do a save and calculate. Let's do a quick simulation of that in turning. So there's our, our updated stock. There's our tool. And I'm just going to step through this so we can see the various parts that relate to it. So it gives me a little bit of a recess, so that way it can do the chamfers, and then it does the part off. And now that would just fall, being caught by my part catcher or whatnot. And you can see already, as soon as we do a part off, if I just moved it a little bit, the stock is assumed to be gone. This is now the part that we can work on. If we added a coordinate system on the back side, and now we wanted to machine this side, now we could do that. The part has been removed, and SolidCam understands that this being the target model, this is the solid we want to continue working on. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.